What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Selaviathan. We're back with another reaction. This time, we're about to watch The Nevers. Now, I'm not really too sure what this show is about, really. Um, all I know is it's about women with superpowers, and I think it takes place sometime in the Victorian era, yeah, somewhere in the 1700s. I, I don't know. That's all I was getting from the actual trailer itself. But um, it looks like it's going to be an interesting show, a show that I really wanted to react to, so I kind of held off to it, off of it for a little while, you know what I mean? Didn't want to like jump right into it, had some other stuff that I needed to react to first, and then we we're going to try to jump into it as soon as possible, so just going to do that now. Um, I'm excited to start episode one, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be good with the whole series and be able to watch uh, it all. Um, from what I can tell, it's pretty good i've heard good things about it so we'll I'll leave it at that um so about to get started with the reaction don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications so you know when the next video will be up and some more reactions you can check that out in the playlist um also make sure you check out the patreon you'll get full uncut reactions there copyright free uncut all raw everything <laughs> you can see every mistake that I make without no editing. But without further ado, let's get started with the reaction of The Nevers, Season 1, Episode 1. Let's go. Hour and 12 minutes long. Feels like a movie. <laughs> 1896. Okay, so Victorian age. I guess I was kind of right. I'm already in, like, this is already the first 30 seconds and I'm interested. There's a lot of faces that we're seeing within like the first three minutes. I have like no idea who these people are. Whoa, that's weird. She just kind of like disappeared. That's an interesting introduction. I like how they didn't show us everything that happened right away. They could have easily been like turned into like superheroes or something. I don't I don't know. I'm interested to see these powers though. What's the uh, girl? Myrtle Hapless. Something to do with her voice. Good day, Mr. Hapless. Yeah. Are they doctors? Are you... Uh... I'm Amalia True. This is my colleague, Penance Da. The Reverend told you we were coming. Oh, yeah. About Myrtle. Is Myrtle here at all? I don't know what this girl's power is, man. Could she read minds or something? Or, like... Be... Or, like, is her body transported into, like, somewhere else? Or something? I don't know. Speak, Myrtle. You mean speak Satan? See? <laughs> Well, you can understand me, yes? Ting da dong ma. Oh, that's a cool power. She can learn any language. Chinese. Most of it. Some of it may have been Russian, and I want to say Turkish. Oh. Kind of care. Keep them down here. Oh no. Okay, all right. I, I, I'm liking this show a lot now. Some good fight scenes. What is that thing? I am so confused right now. <laughs> so 
I have what in the steampunk is going on right now? <laughs> Robots, vehicles. <laughs> None of this should be possible. Okay, I'm guessing Penance has like an increased intelligence. That's my guess of what her power is, and she's able to make all these like futuristic type, I guess, equipment and whatnot. And I'm guessing the other girl can probably see the future or something like that. Something like that. Five men murdered, I'd say she's more than that. Yes, murder. Very distressing. This malady is a lunatic. Scotland Yard has a special detail to catch her. What matter if she's touched? This is beneath us. She is not killing whores, your grace. These are respectable men. Three tons of pressure. And she snapped the hydraulic without so much as a bruise. People cheer. Well, I say enlist her. Point her at the bloody burrs. A machine breaks. Again, gentlemen, this isn't a troop deployment or a, a market crash. Those reported overseas were all here at the time. And not one man of stature afflicted. That's the genius of it. Of the touch, huh? came at us. Through our women. On throng, see a macabre murderess. And you see a broken machine. <laughs> that is exactly what I see. The greatest machine. The heart of our empire brought to a shuddering halt by the caprice and ambitions of those for whom ambition was never meant. The blade is in, gentlemen. We need to know whose hand is on the hilt. His mates brung the torches in. They spotted this on a wall. That's how they knew it was one of hers. It's a message. Not from that, I think. Why can't you be sure? She can spell. Because she left a message. So you're going to tell me what was here before you dressed it up? Because one more night. Oh my God! This guy's doing something the else, bro. Angle of death. Angle of death. <laughs> I noticed that actually. I was like, angle of death. So stupid. Yo, okay. Oh, okay. So there are like dudes here, I guess, kind of. I don't know if any of them have powers though. Don't suffocate them. It's only a courage. So, what's your turn? Why is she so big? <laughs> oh my god. I did not see her that as that big. Sometime. All those girls we went after, they just ran away. Oh my god, they were kidnapping Sorry. them? Ah, uh, that's not good. We need to bolster our security. All entrances, windows, bolted or blocked. I can rig up a few surprises as well. Nothing lethal, but fair discouraging. Oh, it works, Mrs. Trey. Amalia, mm. you don't just ask the bigger king to come call. I wonder who this bigger king I am guy is. Not asking. All right. Better tend to that scratch since you're in such a hurry to make new enemies. There are a lot of characters in the show. Hey, sorry, I kept you waiting. Did I keep you waiting? I'm at odds with time. They're unhappy. Ooh, the Humphreys. Of course they're unhappy. They're old. The crows. They shouldn't be massing here. Crows. Do you mean to say we're witnessing a murder? Oh, you know I hate the term. <laughs> so unfair, a murder of crows. Crows are actually lovely. They're intelligent creatures. They really are, Why is it actually. an exaltation of love? <clears throat> you know Lavinia's charity endeavor? The Touched. Yes, the, uh... The orphanage. Orphans, right. No, the Touched. Yes, they're terrible. <sighs> they're wonderful. They're sad. Do you even know what the term means? Oh, my God. Touched, yes. <laughs> How does he not uh, know? All, uh, <laughs> they have uh, weird um, deformities and afflictions. And, uh, oh, um, Alderton Musgrove has a niece who can float. 
And some touch girl was attacked. I mean, the girl's fine, but Lavinia, she's a flame. It's time society accepted that the touched are amongst us and they're in... And I said, well, they're not amongst us. You know, they're in the orphanage. <laughs> and she called me a genius. She's worse oh than when God. she calls me an idiot. Cause... They're also scared of them, though. I, I never know what she... She's bringing them to the opera. Oh, these people make me uneasy. What if she's some sort of elephant <laughs> man woman? Well, then she's probably the ugly one. Oh, my God, this guy's really taking... You have to come. This too uh, seriously. To the opera. Well, you know everything about flirting. Plus, you, know, you don't mind when people are odd. It's how we're friends. But it's Faust. Please. I'll do anything. I'll sit through three hours of moralistic bellowing with everyone I know and hate just because Lavinia's gone weird. She's not weird. I'm an ape. But she does push you around. I know. I know. But well, that's his sister, though. I wonder who this Lavinia person is. I will come tonight. These are my terms. Is that something you eat or something you wear or give? This man, what's going on? Oh my gosh, so this guy's a healer. Okay. I like watching you work. It's like you're conducting. Okay, so there's dudes yeah. then who are also touched. Getting wrong with a beggar king, and you get a symphony. See, that was a misunderstanding I had. I didn't know if there were any women there, Just but like yours, you should be the seems like physician dudes and girls can have influence. powers. If like mine gets me branded a voodoo witch doctor. I'm not confident in my curtsy. I'm not confident in my breathing. Oh, I wasn't planning to breathe. I think it's considered rude. Does it hurt? Itches. Ah, oh, that's much worse. Are you sure we need to go to this? You have to see us or I'll cry, but we need to go to this. <sighs> oh, crap! Give us the room. What was this guy's name Inside again? You. Crap. Uh, Simon Pegg and again, Nick something. Declan Oren. The Becker King. You've heard about it. You know how it looks. Every rum on the street hearing you calling me come like a bitch puppy. Oh, shit. There's channels. We were attacked today. Only once. They came from Myrtle Haplish, same time we did. Probably been after the touch for some time, but now they've been seen. Seen for a way that this spins out. That I don't kill you. It would be better if you didn't. <laughs> You're a rare fucking bird. You sold us the information about Myrtle. And you're wondering if I sold it to someone else? Well, wander away, princess. My business is mine. How about you get me the crown fucking jewels? This guy's joking, obviously. Wait, are you considering that? <laughs> we'll start with a gift. For today's thoughtlessness. An automated motor carriage designed to your specifications. You're mad enough to make this worth it. But you're mad enough to try not to. If it goes that way, I will cut your face to a mess. Normally this guy plays a lot of co comedic roles, but he knows how to be a serious actor too. Okay, Amalia True and Prudence Claire or something. I think that's what her name is. Prudence. Because these two are the main characters. I gotta know what their names are. Hugo. This guy's name is Hugo. Awesome. You're well, I hope. I am, Miss Bidlow. Thank you, Dr. Belton. Swan. We were discussing His name the is panic Swan. The old men are having about certain French terms. There was one or... debated on the Parliament floor. What was it? Employees. Employees, and here we say it and yet live. It is not panicking to abhor something. Neither is it useful to replace a perfectly good Anglo-Saxon word with some foreigner's flourish. It's true. Runs the orphanage. Indeed. Which one's the ugly one? I take it then that you are yourself... <laughs> Dude, neither of them are afflicted. ugly. <laughs> Touch, yes. We don't consider ourselves afflicted. Well, so what's wrong with you? 
no class. <laughs> I think he means me. Uh, where to begin? No, it's just you, 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 you look you're quite, you're quite nice. And you, um, you, you have the charity, the orphanage. That seems normal. Penance is an inventor, a creator, really. Well, there's only one creator. <laughs> no, uh, I can see energy, potential energy, like with electricity. I can see where it wants to go or move or settle. It helps me put things together. And yours? Mrs. True tends to be a few steps ahead of the rest of us. Chicken, mm. oh. I knew it. She can see the future. See the future? Snippets. It's as confusing as it is useful. You were a soldier. You've seen men who suddenly feel themselves back in battle. Well, sometimes I go forward. Oh, he's gonna, she's gonna, something's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was like, what's going on there? I killed the devil. Please. Please. Don't. Go. Oh God, he was all light, and he put on me his wreath. He came. She sounds crazy, but she's right though. She's like, God blessed us, and you guys turned our back on God's blessing or something. Yeah, bugger it. Take the angel. <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now. No, please, please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. What was the point of all of that? <laughs> oh my god she doesn't even have powers all she knows how to do is see the future yeah she does all of this well not real powers i guess like powerful powers but like strength right something like that boss It's funny how, how the crazy person is their boss. <laughs> this show is, is entertaining. I'm, I'm loving this. So I don't suppose you made any effort to stop Malady? I have it that that's your job. Oh, and that there's a young widow doing it for you. I think of you as a partner, in a way. I don't profit by what we do. <laughs> well, neither do I. Yet. Once you've sent enough suitable girls my way, and a certain investor is invested, the Ferryman's Club will become not just a profitable business, but a phenomenon. The, the original Hugh Hefner right here, man. Polyglot. One tiny touch girl. That's all you had to bring me. I like that word, touched. Like the finger of God, give a few of us a little poke. What goes up? Every subject gets me closer to finding exactly where it is he touched us. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, at least didn't show a lot of gore here.
Mrs. True? Miss Adair. You look very fine. Now that he has the girl. Harry. Brighton, they said. She won't kill her. Not right away, we have time. We have some time. And you found an invigorating way to spend it. I started it. I belong here. And you. All of us that's touched. We're woven into the fabric of the world and we're meant to be as we are. I like that. We are who we are. We find Mary. It's a start. Hmm. It's sad. They couldn't get the girl, though. That sucks. What is that? Is that an alien? What the heck is that? Is that what happened? An alien ship came down? <laughs> what? What what happened? They like send out little bugs and like every person got pricked who was touched? Or is that oh it's like a gas that went into the air. But that would mean everybody was affected, right? Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. He was touched too? Huh? Oh, maybe he has powers too. She accepted it though. She's just like, I want to be touched. I'm allowed to be. Oh. Malady girl got. I would really like to know what her powers essentially are. It, it seems like there, it might be strength, from what I could tell, or like an animalistic type of, uh... What the heck? And then everybody just moved on with their lives? Alright, there, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack, unravel here. Oh, but she's crazy, and they don't... Well, I'm glad Amalia didn't die. I actually like this actor a lot. She's pretty cool. I like a good, strong female lead, man. Always makes the story very interesting. Why is she small? I, I, oh, no, sorry. The other girl is big. Okay. <laughs> I, was just, I was just confused. <laughs> so that was the Nevers episode one. Not gonna lie. Really great show. Um, the way we started it out, at first I thought only the females in the TV show, you know, had the powers and stuff like that. And I wasn't really too sure to what extent the powers are going to be. It seems like the powers themselves are very contained they're not crazy op or whatever except maybe the girl with the fireball power in the end but let's move on from there so we meet amalia and then i believe the other girl's name is prudence the two main characters i'm not too sure about everybody else there's the other guy hugo who seems to be like a brothel owner and then there's swan who seems to be like the other girl lavinia the girl in the wheelchair's brother or whatever as you go through the story, you kind of realize that um, these touch people are not really that accepted in society and that people are afraid of them. So they're actually being kind of hunted down in a way where, you know, they're kind of just being separated and being discriminated against, <laughs> which uh, makes sense. I mean, you have the, uh, the serial killer. What's her name? Malady. Who's kind of crazy. I don't know what her powers are, but <laughs> from what I could tell, it looks like she's kind of crazy. She just killed that guy like it was nothing. And those other two people were following her like it was nothing. Um, they kind of just were just with her. It didn't seem like she was much of a leader. Like all like she was all there, but um, 
uh, we'll, we'll see as we go further along because I'm sure we're gonna explore that character a lot more um, then we kind of figured out that more people were touched not only females but also males so that's a little bit more interesting with the series now but the craziest thing craziest thing was at that ending oh my god that ending was absolutely insane um, it was an alien spaceship that was coming down and spreading its spores onto people and then we learned who was actually touched and who was not touched and it seems like some people who were touched know about their powers and some people who were touched do not know about their powers so that swan guy i believe that was his name i don't know if it was the hugo that was hugo's last name or something i don't know we'll figure it out next episode when we watch but it seemed as though he was also touched which was crazy and we saw what happened to um what's it called the I don't know I think he's like a prime minister or something his daughter kind of got touched and died or something so pr that's probably why he hates them and let's not forget about the crazy whack job doctor who was actually experimenting on these touch people trying to figure out what makes them tick that's scary the craziest thing though was Malady was probably the only person who knew about the aliens because she was crazy enough to kind of remember them I, I don't know how that's gonna like equate like that's ugh, I don't know my mind is just like all over the place this is a great show I'm looking forward to it um, as we keep going I appreciate all you guys support it's been awesome you know what I mean I'm, I'm happy that I can be able to watch this and enjoy the reaction as best as possible give you as much genuine me as I can <laughs> um, now, honestly, I've been loving these doing these reactions. It's it's been uh, lo loads of fun. You know, it doesn't seem like a chore to me at all. I already watched the shows. Might as well show people how I react to them. As okay, I don't even know the word. Whatever. Either way, I will see you guys later. Peace out, and have a great day.